Hello friends, welcome back to another video. I'm so excited that you guys are here. I'm super thankful for you guys. If I have not said that enough, I just love interacting with you guys and connecting and reading your guys' comments. It truly means a lot to me. Um, if you guys have not subscribed already, please do so. I do upload videos every single week, so um, just stay tuned for those. I mean, I film anything between like nursing school and weight loss and cleaning and motivation and decluttering and cook with me's and all these meal prep videos and like all kinds of things that you guys can watch here on my channel. So make sure you guys are subscribed to watch those future videos. But for today's video, we are going to be diving into some of the essentials that I say are pretty necessary when you are a nursing student. So let's go ahead and jump right in. All right, you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and jump in with this first, probably most important item of them all. This is going to be your stethoscope case. And I feel like you guys are gonna use this not just in nursing school, but as a nurse as well. Um, I just feel like this is nice to have, um, to have your stethoscope in like a soft environment and not clunking around and banging into your like laptop or textbooks or anything. I feel like this is going to really help keep your stethoscope in a nice shape. I mean, they are expensive. Um, so yeah, I love, love, love this color too. I just, I'm a black and white type of person. I'm not a huge person of like bright colors, but they have all kinds of different colors you guys can choose from. It does have a handle if you guys need to carry it around for some reason. Um, but inside, this is also stuff you're going to need. So obviously you're going to need a stethoscope. Um, this is the Littman 3 Classic. Um, I actually purchased this from Amazon. I love this stethoscope just because it's very lightweight and it's not like pulling on my neck. Um, so like when I wear my stethoscope, if I have it on correctly, when I have my stethoscope on it just doesn't feel like I have a lot of things on my neck. It doesn't feel heavy. It's not like rubbing against my neck. I actually have severe allergies and I'm pretty bad at eczema and I was worried that the stethoscope, like the rubber, because um, I'm allergic to latex, I don't really know what this is made out of, but I was worried that it would like cause a rash on my neck or like really irritate me, so I'd have to like wear it in my pocket, but I've never had any issues. Um, but yeah, I really like this guy, it's very lightweight. I do have to say, I feel like it's pretty quiet. I don't know if that's just Littman in general, I mean I've never really tried a whole lot of other stethoscopes, I'm curious to know. I think when I'm done with school I will be purchasing more of a more expensive stethoscope, maybe like a cardiovascular one to really help um, listen and differentiate between different heart sounds. Um, but I do really like this, especially just for like a starter stethoscope, I mean I think it was like a hundred bucks or less, I don't remember. Um, but I did order this little like uh, glittery charm for it as well, I just love this stethoscope so so much. I love the black. I'm just not a color person like I said so maybe for my next one I'll do something a little more fun but I'm just a black and white person. And then up next is going to be your trauma shears. Trauma shears are so so important. Um, you're gonna need these to cut like bandages and cut through clothes um, especially down in the ER if you guys have um, like a trauma is what we call it. We cut through clothes, belts, socks. I mean we cut through all kinds of stuff if we have to have immediate access to the limbs to make sure like no other bullet holes or like um, any fractures like you have to like expose the body and make sure you're not missing anything so we always cut clothes off down in the ER but um, definitely come in handy for other things as well. Another huge thing you're going to want is pen lights. You guys are going to have to use pen lights. I mean not just in clinicals, not in nursing school, but you'll also use this down the road as well. Um, but these I got from Amazon. Um, I do like the colors. One's like a rose gold. This one I don't remember. Yeah, this one came with it. It came in a pack. Um, but it has like the numbers on the side. It does have like a little um, like ruler type thing on the side too. It does have little like metal clips on the side if you were to like keep this in your pocket or up here on top of your scrubs. Um, but you guys, you'll use these all the time um, for head-to-toe assessments, um, if you're observing inside their mouth, or if you want to check their pupil size, um, make sure they're round, reactive to light, all those things. So definitely keep some pen lights on hand. Another thing that I actually found super important that not a lot of people think about is just having a black Sharpie or like a really good black marker on hand. 
if you guys are having a lot of dressing changes and stuff like that, you're going to want to make sure you're labeling things and marking your initials and like when things were put on or even like when you start an IV, you want to know when did that IV um, get first established and how long do you have to like have before you have to insert a different one. I believe they actually have like time frames on them and should be switched out if, after like a certain amount of time or something. Um, but I thought that would be cool to keep on hand just in case. So I definitely recommend getting a little case and keeping all your things together um, just like so. This next item here I actually got as a gift. I love, love, love this planner. This planner, I seriously like, I take this to work all the time because I obviously like write down um, like what days I work and the times and stuff and so many nurses are like, where did you get that from? I need it, I need it now. Um, it's actually from the brand RecMed. Um, I love this planner so, so much. I'll have to show you guys um, like a different view so you guys can see the inside of the planner. Um, I mean it has like not only just like the layout of the month, but it actually has like the whole layout of um, like during the week or like certain days. I um, mean there's like little note sections, to-do lists, I mean there's just like everything that you would need in this planner and the cutest part is that it's all nursing style so like they have tons of different um, like labels and pictures and uh, like quiz questions and answers. They just have so many things. They have your lab values. I mean, they just have so much stuff on here that it comes in handy. Even if you're not even a nursing student, I feel like this would just be fun to just even have like a reminder of like the different type of like EKG readings. I mean, like the different type of heart rhythms. You've got um, the difference between like heart failure and like left sided and right sided. You've got different type of strokes. Um, talk about the lungs. I mean, there's seriously so many cool things on here. It's really amazing. Um, there's like practice things for metabolic acidosis um, versus alkalosis and like little tables you can fill in. Um, they have different types of like fluids that you can go over um, and different type of stickers. I mean, there's like tons and tons of stickers in the back. I mean, it's so, so fun, you guys. Um, highly, highly recommend. This is probably the best fun planner I've ever had. So, really, really, really nice. I absolutely love this. The one key thing you'll really need, I mean, this is, I don't know if you'd ever get through nursing school without a laptop, um, but you definitely, definitely need one. I mean, nursing school nowadays, especially with COVID, I feel like a lot of it is teaching yourself or just doing work from home. A lot of the exams and quizzes, like we don't do any assignments on paper ever. Like I can maybe count on my hand how many times we've done assignments on paper. Um, so a lot of your assignments and a lot of your um, like notes and PowerPoints and all the things, you're going to need internet and a laptop to access all of that. Um, you don't need anything crazy. You, I mean, you could literally have a cheap laptop and you'd be just fine. I do have a more expensive laptop. It's like a gaming laptop. Um, I don't even know what it's called, but it's an MSI laptop. My fiance tricked me into buying this because I know he's going to want to play video games on it eventually and he can do so on this, but I can also edit my videos and all the things on here. So, I mean, it works for the both of us. So, you'll definitely need a laptop. Like, if there's probably one thing you'll need, you'll need a laptop from this whole video because you'll, I don't know how you would do nursing school without a laptop. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't have to be a laptop, but I mean, if you just have internet access, if you're like a desktop at home or anything like that, I mean, an iPad, like any electronic that you can log onto your Canvas, look at your notes, look at PowerPoints, um, all those things, you'll definitely need one of those. So, so I don't know about your guys' school, but our school did supply all of our textbooks and all of our scrubs. Um, I mean, obviously we had to buy it like with financial aid or whatever way of purchasing it. But, I mean, from the beginning of the program, we had literally, like, an entire box of all the textbooks that we would need for the entire semester. I'm not going to show all those books because I, there's, there's so, so many, like, so many. Um, and I'm not going to, like, hold up each one. I mean, um, the requirements for textbooks may be different for your school anyway, so just know... Um, our package came in a huge bundle. We got all of our textbooks, all of our like workbooks and things that we needed all in a bundle. And then we also had to pick out our scrubs. Um, we had to get our scrubs through the school. Um, you can get them through other places, but they have to like double check and make sure they're okay. They'll like give you the okay if you can wear them or not. I think a few people in my class actually wore um, 
some fig scrubs. I don't feel like I would rather buy fig scrubs for school knowing that I'm going to have to buy scrubs again for when I'm a nurse. Uh, maybe because our bottoms were black. I mean, I'd rather have fig bottoms and I can wear those as a nurse too. Um, but a lot of our scrub tops and everything were white and I'm not going to be able to wear those again. Um, so yeah, these are the brand, I think they're Cherokee. I think they're Cherokee, if I'm being correct. But um, for our scrubs, our scrubs are black for the bottoms. And um, I'm not a huge fan of them. I don't like fanned out bottoms. I like the skinny bottoms or joggers. Those are my type of scrubs that I like. But I mean, it does have like little areas you can fit um, like a pen light or your trauma shears. They do have back pockets and everything. But I mean, not what I would buy personally. Um, but we did end up getting black scrubs and then for our tops, our tops are white and then, yeah, these are Cherokee as well. So just a plain white scrub top and then pockets on the sides. And I don't think it has a pocket up front, it's just like the pockets on the sides, but you'll definitely need those. Um, another thing you'll have to have as far as uniform goes is a white lab jacket. Um, you don't have to. You can wear just like a white long sleeve shirt under your scrubs, but I'm, I get hot really easily, so I want to be able to like take things off and put them back on when I want to. So I did end up getting um, a lab jacket. It's a little big on me. I did end up getting this one through my school as well, but you guys can order it from other places too. But um, this is a brand Cherokee, and it's just a lab jacket, and it just has, like, cuffed um, sleeves. And then, I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. I mean, it's just a jacket, and then it has big white open pockets in the front, so... And it does have buttons on it if you wanted it to button, but... I don't really want it to button. I just did it just to like throw on over my top. But yeah, I'll insert a better picture of this if you guys want to. I feel like it's not really picking up very well on the camera, but I'll show you guys a picture of that. Another super key thing you guys are gonna need is some white leather tennis shoes um, for your nursing school career. You'll probably never wear your white tennis shoes ever again, but you absolutely need them. Like, you just have to. It was part of our dress code. I don't know the dress code for your guys' schools, but ours requires you to have white um, leathered tennis shoes that can, like, you know, be wipeable and get cleaned off. They have to be all white. They cannot be, like, two different colors. They can't be, like, gray and white or black and white. Like, the bottoms have to be white. Like, the entire shoe has to be white. So, I'm going to go grab those really quick because I did not bring them up here and I'll show them to you guys really quick. So, these are the shoes that I did end up wearing for my clinicals. Um, these are Asics. Yeah, these are Asics and they're super duper comfortable. Like, I don't know how to describe them, but they're just more like that cloud foamy texture. Really good on your feet, uh, especially if you're going to be on your feet for a very long time, for a long um, hours for like a 12 hour day. I mean clinicals will eat you up. So make sure you guys are getting comfortable shoes. Do not go by style or what they look like or just having something cute. You want something comfortable. Again, these are all white on the soles and everything. My neighbor's cutting the grass. Excuse them because it's loud as heck. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna try and be quick because she is mowing the grass and it's taking a long time and it's loud. But um, as far as being essential and like something you need, this is not something you need but I highly, highly recommend just because you guys are gonna be looking at a laptop or your phone or just like some type of electronic for hours on end. As a nursing student you have so much homework and just so many things you have to do online and I felt like I was on my laptop for like five hours a day. It was insane. Um, but I picked up some blue light blocking glasses a long time ago here on my channel and I reviewed them and talked about them. But these are super duper cute. I love these glasses. Like, I honestly wear them like not so often um, just because I feel like people would see me and be like, you don't wear glasses, what are you doing? Um, but I actually do like to wear these sometimes at work in places that I'm around really bright lights a lot also. 
um, and sometimes I'll wear them outside because the sun kind of gives me a headache sometimes so I do wear these other than just nursing school but I think these are a very good option if you guys get headaches or migraines very easily you'll be looking at a laptop or screen quite often so definitely look into a pair of blue light blocking glasses I can leave the link for these I'll try and find them for you but I loved these so for nursing school, whether it's just going to the classroom or to clinicals, you guys are going to need some type of backpack. Um, this, I love this backpack. It's so, so cute. I've talked about this here on my channel before when I actually did a supplies haul and I like just got it brand new and haven't used it yet. After using it for a while, it is super, super cute and it holds quite a bit of stuff. I mean, it has tons of pockets and it just overall works really well and it has room for a water bottle. But my only issue with this was it wasn't really big enough for me. Um, I felt like with my laptop and some of my textbooks and like my stethoscope case and like sometimes it just like was not enough. So sometimes I would use that if I knew like I didn't really need to bring a whole lot with me. Um, I liked using that. But as far as like taking a bunch of things with you as far as textbooks and your laptop and stuff like that, I actually take this to school with me. So this is just a normal like Adidas backpack. I don't know what's on the front. Um, but this is actually just from Costco. It's a cheap little like $20, $30 backpack um, and I love it. I mean, I use it all the time and I actually take this to work and stuff too. But um, along with your backpacks, I wanted to mention water bottles because um, this water bottle, I, I can actually like, fit into the pockets of both of those bags. So sometimes I will take this if I'm going to the classroom setting and I want to take a water bottle with me. Um, I do like taking this. But, um, oh, and I got this from Amazon, by the way. This is one of their bottles, and I love it. It has, like, markings on the side, a gold top, and it's just super classy, and, like, it looks really cute, you guys. I love this. Um, very aesthetically pleasing. But when it comes to not having to fill up your water bottle very often, and you're wanting it to last a lot longer, I take this guy with me to my clinicals. Um, just because I don't have to fill it up as much. It's 73 ounces of water. It is a hydro jug um, And this lasts me all day long. I mean, it's a freaking half gallon um, So I don't have to fill it up a bunch of times I just fill it up once take it with me and it lasts all day long I mean if you guys know anything about being a nurse and having clinicals and running your butt off all day long and wearing an N95 and all these things like your mouth and throat have never been drier um, so I've been trying to hydrate and take a big water bottle with me when I go to school. So something simple, but I mean something you're gonna really need is some type of badge reel. Um, you'll have like Vocera's and um, a badge and like it's nuts. I mean as a tech or like a nurse you'll be wearing Vocera's and like a um, what is it called a panic button and all these things like you'll need all kinds of badge reels. I mean but just for school you'll just need one because you'll be wearing your badge for clinicals and I mean, I have quite a few. I picked some up from Etsy a while ago, but it broke. That was my favorite. It was like super sparkly, but that one broke. And I just had bought a pack of them from Amazon, and it just came like in a pack of like all these marble ones. So those are really cute. I do have this one from a long time ago. I've never used it, but it's a CNA one. Um, but I don't use that obviously for school. But yep, you'll just need some type of bad reel because you will be using your badge quite often and I don't like just the clip one where you have to like unclip it and use it, unclip it, use it. You can just leave this on your shirt and just badge like this or badge like that or I don't know, my name's Alexis. <laughs> so you'll just need some type of badge reel. I do not have it physically with me because mine actually broke. I ordered it from Amazon, but it's super, super handy. It's just having a, a type of clipboard with storage. And I probably won't order it from Amazon again just because mine broke, like not even having it that long. So if you guys can find a really nice clipboard with storage, I highly recommend it because with clinicals, you're going to be keeping a lot of paperwork um, and things and like even pens and stuff inside of your clipboard. You can even like tape some normal lab values into the inside to have a little cheat sheet and stuff like that. So it definitely, like, hands down one of the, like, key things I use in clinicals. Um, so definitely get yourself a clipboard. I've had a lot of people mention um, or ask about a watch with a second hand. Um, we don't use them in nursing school. We just don't. Like, I had so many people say, you'll need that, you'll need that, and we never used it. I mean, maybe you will need it, but I mean, I wear my smartwatch. We don't ever use the second hand because a lot of the 
um, hospitals, they're going to be using automatic blood pressures, um, so you're not going to do it manually. So, I mean, especially if you want to use it for like respirations, you can, um, and looking at it that way. But, I mean, you guys, we've never used a wash of the second hand at all. So, definitely not super essential, but you do need some type of watch um, just because you'll need to know times and like what time you took your vitals and I mean there's clocks and stuff all around the rooms and at the hospital but a watch definitely comes in handy but it's not necessary to have one with the second hand. So last but not least um, I do want to say you'll probably need some type of printer access just because when it comes to like printing notes and your powerpoints and printing off important things or like your clinical care plan or stuff like that like it's really nice to have ink in a printer um, just to be able to do that from home I mean you do have access to your school if you can go to their library and print things off it is like only 10 cents or something to print things off but um, the convenience of having something at home is really really nice um, that's my printer behind me if you guys can see it um, it's just a normal like Canon HP you don't need anything fancy um, just get a printer because it will save your life and some time so so one thing I did forget to mention is just having a ton of black pens on hand you guys I cannot even express this enough how many times I've freaking lost pens um, not just even as a student, but going to work, we use black pens like 24-7 and I lose them all the time. So I will literally take like three with me to school um, and to clinicals um, because I just lose them all the time. And I just keep a bunch in my pocket and by the time I'm, I'm done with the shift or by the time I'm done with clinicals, they're gone. They're lost somehow, some way. Um, but yeah, black pens, super important. I didn't mention this either, I mean it's pretty self-explanatory and common sense, but you're gonna obviously need like notebooks and folders and like highlighters and like just those things also, like just normal school items, but I really just wanted to share like things that you don't really think about or things that actually like matter and things you'll actually really need or like thoughtful things that you may need, like the glasses, um, not essential, but things you might think of. Um, that you might need down the road. So that is everything for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this and found some of these things really helpful and useful and things you might use in the future. So give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy videos like these and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!